Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the inverse Laplace of this expression. So the first thing we'll do is we'll rewrite this piece here. So this is s over, and this should factor, so let's try. So it looks like we need two numbers that multiply to negative 3 and add to 2. So I'm thinking 3 and 1. Yep. And I think the 3 has to be positive and the 1 has to be negative because they have to add to a positive 2. Let's check. S times S is S squared. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative S plus 3S give you negative 2S. So the inside and the outside add to the middle. So now we're going to use what's called uh, partial fractions. And we're going to use something called the cover-up method. It's named after a famous physicist. Uh, his name was Oliver Heaviside, I believe. And this is the same guy uh, for which the unit step function is named. It's called the Heaviside step function. So super famous. Uh, dude from the past. So this is going to be a over s minus 1, and we can do that because we have distinct linear factors. Whenever these are different, that's how it works, plus b over s plus 3. All right, so to use the cover-up method, we just have to use our hands, or if you're using paper, you use your fingers to cover stuff up. So a, let's find a. So to find a, what you do is you cover up what's under a, so s minus 1. And then you look here and you ask yourself, okay, what, what makes this undefined? What makes the bottom zero? Well, one, right? Because you would get one minus one equals zero. So one is what, was what causes a problem. So you cover it up over here and then you plug in ones for the other s's. So it'd be one over one plus three. So that's just one over four. Piece of cake. Let's find big B. So to find B, B Again, you just cover up what's under the B. So you go over here and you cover it up, and you say, hey, what makes the bottom problematic? What makes the bottom zero? Well, negative three. So you just come over here and you just put negative threes where the S's are. So it'll be negative three over negative three minus one. It's a super powerful technique. You can use regular partial fractions, but this is the way to go. So this is negative three over negative four. So this is three fourths. So again, to find A, you cover up what's under A, and then in this case, what makes it 0, 1, so you plug in 1s, boom, there it is. To find B, you cover up what's under B, what makes this undefined negative 3, so you plug in negative 3s, there it is. So here we are. So this is equal to, so the 1 fourth goes up top, but you can put it in the front, that's what people do. It makes it easier. And then the same thing with the 3 fourths. So you just do plus 3 fourths, and then 1 over S plus 3. All right, so this is what we have to find the inverse Laplace of, right? So you just take the inverse Laplace of each piece because it's, it's linear. So we have inverse Laplace, so 1 fourth inverse Laplace. Thought I had to erase, but I don't, so good. <laughs> this is 1 over s minus 1, uh, plus 3 fourths, inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 3. Good stuff, this is what it's all about. We can use a super powerful formula, right? The inverse Laplace of 1 over s minus a is equal to e to the at. That's the formula for life. So this is going to be 1 fourth e to the t, because a is 1. So it's 1 fourth e to the t plus 3 fourths e to the negative 3t. It's negative 3t because it's s minus negative 3. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it. Take care.